So in this video, I will show you how to use the dashboards to complete ongoing data quality checks. So when you get to the end of the, the quarter and the OHMR team is getting ready to pull out the data, you don't need to um, make sure that you've got a reminder in your calendar because you know that you've been working on this as the quarter progresses. So the first dashboard we have is the Regis Live dashboard. This dashboard really focuses on applications from the initial submission process through to approval. So this dashboard can be used to pick up issues before you've approved studies or authorized studies. The three major issues we find is the review pathway. So whether it's greater than low risk or low risk. The sponsor type, whether it's commercially sponsored. And the study type, whether it's a clinical trial or clinical research. What we have here is a visual representation of all of the applications that are currently anywhere between in progress and approved pending. And if we wanted to see if any of these applications were missing a review pathway, we could use our filter and then select the blank. Now we can see that in fact there are a number of applications at this point in this view where there is no ethics pathway provided and if we went to the pending CE we could see that there are two we could pop over to that application do a little bit of investigation and then we could make sure that we update the classification and we can see here that this is missing so how can we check for the ethics pathway and what it should be uh, one of the ways you might be able to see is the tag might still exist, but the classification is not there. So if the tag exists, that may be a good reminder for you. If, for example, you are the site and you have uh, the related ethics, you could pop over to the related ethics. In this case, we don't have a related ethics and see what the grade of the pathway was there. The other option in this case, where there is no ethics in Regis, to identify what the researcher had initially submitted in the project registration, greater than low risk. And another area may also be the ethics approval letter. The other major giveaway on this one is in fact that this is a phase two clinical trial and generally that's going to be a greater than low risk. And how do we update this? Go to our classification. We enter. We add classification. And then we can select greater than low risk. And apply. Now the advantage of picking up a classification missing at this stage is that once you hit authorize and send that email, the classifications will push through to the project as well. So the other option we have is our ethics or site dashboard. I'll be using the site dashboard for this example. Now you can set your date parameters to be the quarter that is upcoming. So in this case, I've gone the day before the quarter started to the day after the quarter finished. Now immediately visually, I can see that there are some ethics pathways missing. And if I went to filter here as well, that would very much show me a number of applications that were submitted within that quarter and applications that were approved within that quarter that are missing the ethics pathway. Again, you can click on one of the bars and if you wanted to click multiple, you use your multi-select tool and that will bring up all of them and then you can select from the table. Of course, you can open in a new table, open in a new tab. So this one's interesting because we've identified in the dashboard that it didn't have an ethics pathway, but we come here and we can see that there is a greater than low risk review tag, which is system generated. We also have, we've got a low risk NMA tag, which would have been manually created by the research office. I can make some assumptions here. I can assume that it was a low risk study, but it was accidentally submitted under a greater than low risk or it was reviewed by the full HREC on a HARIA so it was able to be 
are approved under NMA. Now let's go to classifications. And we can see here that in fact the classification has been completely removed in this time and we would need to make the determination of whether this was greater than low risk or low risk and update that here. Some of the other classifications we can use our dashboards to do data quality checks are our study types. So anything that is blank we may need to take a look at and in this case we have no blanks but perhaps anything that has multiple selections. And again, it looks like at this point within our date parameters, we have nothing there, but if there was something, it would come up and you'd be able to investigate. And one of the other items we can check is sponsor type. So we can click our filter and select anything that is blank. We might also want to check anything that has been given multiple sponsors because we can only have a sponsor. Again, this will give us something to go and look at. Once again, to change any of these, we head over to our classifications. We can add any of these classifications that were yet to be completed. The changes that are made here will not be visible until the next day.